two, one. Vehicle is pitching down range. Booster Raptor, chamber pressure nominal. Booster and ship, avionics power and telemetry nominal. Booster engine cutoff. The return flag is set for true. Ship engine start up. Stage separation. All right, hot staging confirmed. Picture six out of six shutter. lit on the ship. Uh, we saw earlier those grid fins. There are four hypersonic grid fins. Oh, we can see that the landing burn has begun Picture. on the super heavy booster. And same pattern, 13 engines will light. Gone down to three just as we expected. What an incredible view of splash. We can see on our screen ship giving us some incredible views brought to us by Starlink. Uh, this view is also very interesting because we can see basically the receding tile line that we referred to earlier, where we mentioned we have removed a number of heat shield tiles in order to test out and push the envelope on the ship and demonstrate what its capabilities are. Ship engine cutoff. And there we just heard call out for Seco, ship engine cutoff. Great news there, everything continuing to look awesome for ship. Full view looking aft on ship here. And just heard the call out for startup. There's some light. There's that Raptor relit. And shut down. Down below that, that's that's when we're going to kind of dip our nose down and, and get that more aggressive angle of attack. Normally, we're just belly flop right into the water, pretty much that position. Uh, but if we're going to be able to do return to launch sites, uh, we're going to want to be able to fly with a little bit more of an angle of attack, get you a little bit more range as you're coming through. And so this will this will be just a test to see quite how far can we push it. And obviously, we're going to do these kind of tests way out here in super remote areas before you ever try to bring a ship back to a place like Starbase. Starship remains on a good entry trajectory. External temperatures are coming. Doing it to stress those aft flaps, and that will help inform the limits of flap control in order to collect data for future landing profiles. I mean, we're looking, we're looking good so far. We've just got about five kilometers in altitude to go. We'll we'll ignite the engines when we're still just a couple hundred meters uh, over the ground. Do that flip. Starship is passing landing. through five kilometers altitude. Remains on a good trajectory. I have a feeling this is going to look so cool as it passes through the clouds. Obligatory shout out to the entire avionics team on Starship. <laughs> And there's that nose down orientation. Now the uh, Raptor engines will relight and help flip the booster back up. This is a more severe flip given the orientation. Uh, the engines will shut down prior to the water making impact, prior to the vehicle making impact with the water. Our ship is doing great so far. There's, There's those engines okay. relighting. What a great reorientation by Starship. Wow. 
All three down to two. Into the water. Start to be Wow. And we have Chef splashed down in the Indian Ocean. <laughs> Some awesome buoy cam action here. Yes. Daylight news. Incredible. We really pushed the limits on shipping and made it all the way back down to earth. I am shocked, to be <laughs> honest. I think many folks are. Uh, the fact that it survived all the way through <laughs> while flying a lesser jet.